everybody, welcome back to another episode of Face Off Friday. Today, we are going to open three different blaster boxes of Topps Heritage from 2018, 2019, and 2020, which literally just hit shelves at Walmart today. And we're going to see which one is the best. What I'll do is I'll take out the top five cards from each box and we'll see which box ended up being the best one and i always like to give my picks first so i am going to choose 2018 as my first place finisher i'll take 2020 second and 2019 in last place um, we'll see how it goes sometimes i end up picking the right box and sometimes i don't it all depends on what the big card is in each box if there is one so we'll start out with 2018 on the left and work our way up to the brand new release which was released in hobby stores uh, on Wednesday. So we got 2018 with the 1969 style design first. And there are seven packs in here plus one extra pack. So eight total packs. And I think there's maybe nine cards per pack. We'll check it out. I don't remember exactly. Yep, 72 total cards inside. Also 72 total cards in all three of these. So let's get this opened up and see what we can find. Here's our packs. 2018 was a nice year for rookies. We're going to see if we could find any of those, such as Juan Soto or Ronald Acuna Jr. That's part of the reason why I picked this to be my winner. For today, it looks like we might have a parallel already. Do you see the shine right there? My nice refractor chrome finish. We have Nelly Cruz, Nelson Cruz, right off the uh, right off the top there, out of five sixty nine. So what I do is I always take the cards out as I go and put put the best ones in the good pile. So that's going to the good pile. Carlos Villanueva is no longer in the big leagues. He's playing overseas, so he's not going to make the good pile. Usually. For my qualifications for the good pile, you have to be a decent rookie that has some value or a card that has some added value to it, such as a parallel card or something of that nature. So we got Kent Maeda, Max Kepler, who had a very nice season for the Twins last year. Everybody in the Twins lineup had a nice season last year. We got Clint Frazier, Deckel Edge, rookie card. Don't get too excited, folks. That's not an actual autograph on there. That is a facsimile. It is not numbered or anything. But those are still pretty cool cards. That one's definitely going in the good pile. We've got the Dodgers five run, ninth gets the win. And we also have a rookie star card of Kyle Farmer, which uh, I don't think that's going to make my maybe pile. Next up, pack number three out of eight. Heritage is just hitting the shelves, like I mentioned. Uh, hey, how about this? Raphael Devers rookie card. Very, very nice. So I, I think that we have a nice strong base of some good cards that we've picked out so far. Lonnie Chisenhall just retired uh, about two days ago. He hung up the cleats and he's not going to play again. Even though he signed with the Buccos last year, he never appeared in the game. So he spent his entire Major League career, which I think was parts of eight or nine seasons, all with the Indians. But as, as I was saying, 2020 Topps Heritage is now hitting the shelves, usually around here at least. It's they wait until Friday to stock the shelves, so I picked up all of my stuff today on the way home from work. So we have a blaster box here of Heritage that we are facing off against these other two releases. And there's Alex Bregman. Also have to kind of look out for short prints in these. There's Jose Altuve, Juan Moncada, and Marco Estrada. And Heritage, the last 100 cards of the set are short prints, which we will be on the lookout for. I also need to make sure I don't miss any action photo variants, which I'm afraid of doing since it's been a while since I've opened 2018 in a large-scale break, so I might forget some of those. Then we got Ozzy Albee's Rookie Stars card there. That's a nice one. Two packs left. We've got Brian McCann. Then we've got a home run leaders card with Cody Bellinger on it right there. Anthony Rendon, Kevin Gosman, and Trevor Story. Come to think of it, I think that Acuna and Soto are probably in the high number release and won't be in this set, but that's okay. There's still, we're getting some good cards out of here. Aaron Sanchez, Clint Frazier, New Age Performers card, Victor Robles, rookie star card there. Andrew Stevenson hasn't really broken through yet. Nolan Arenado and Sean Newcomb. So now I have to go through and pick out the best cards uh, from the set 
I'm gonna go ahead and take out, uh, first I'm gonna check for some short prints, so give me a second. All right, we did get two short prints. They're one in every three packs, Joe Musgrove and Lonnie Chisenhall. To figure out if you got a short print, their cards numbered 401 to 500. So we got two short prints here. I don't even know though if I'm high enough on those cards to put them in my top five. That's how good that box was. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Raphael Devers one. I really like that one. I'm gonna go with Ozzy Albies two. I'm gonna go with Nelly Cruz three, Victor Robles four. And believe it or not, I would rather have the Clint Frazier or Deco Edge rookie card in there over the short prints. So um, we got two common short prints here. Not a ton of value to these. Maybe, I don't know what guys, 50 cents to a buck on those. I would rather have those uh, three, four, and five instead of uh, replacing any of those with short prints. So that is in the books. Maybe I should go through as I go through the packs and check for short prints instead of having to stop the video and then do it at the end. All right, so now we got 2019. This was purchased at Walmart, actually out of the clearance bin. I think it was about $15. These blaster boxes typically cost $20 per pack. So there's eight packs in here, nine cards each. Let's go ahead through and see what we can pull out of 2019 here. Do we have a hot box? Possibly. We might have a hot blaster box here, which would be pretty nice. Reese McGuire and Rowdy Telez. We have Andrew Benatendi Purple Parallel. These aren't numbered, but they are from the hot boxes where every single pack has a purple parallel chrome card. How about this? Brandon Lau. Very nice. So a nice start to this box. I'll be pretty happy if we have a hot blaster box. And we'll find out. We do. We got a hot box. The 2019 Heritage is coming out hot. Very, very nice. So we have Shamanaya Purple Parallel. Um, kind of tough to find the hot boxes. You can buy a hobby case and you get 12 case or 12 boxes in a hobby case. Those hobby cases are about $1,200 a piece, at least for 2020 Heritage. And there's 12 boxes inside and only one is a hot box. So I'm a, I don't know what the odds are. I know that I think there's either 20 or 40 uh, blaster boxes in a case. Blake Snell is our purple parallel. And Juan Soto cloth card. Very nice. Juan Soto. These are insert cards. You can see the texture in it. So this is literally the best blaster box from Heritage I've ever opened. Usually my Heritage blaster boxes from 2019 never are good whatsoever. So already off to a great start. The Juan Soto cloth card. And it's a hot box. But anyway... I, Maybe like one in every oh, 20 or 40 boxes might be a hot box. Michael Kopech rookie card. That one's going to the good pile. There's Fernando Rodney with his hat all sideways. Next pack. We've got Luis Castillo who will one day be a Cy Young Award winner. And there's Trevor Bauer, Purple Parallel. Those Purple Parallel cards might be worth a buck or two. They are very, very nice. And... Um, it's always a little extra exciting to see if your purple parallel card is going to be a nice rookie card. Uh, there's Jesus Aguilar. All those are going in the maybe pile. I'm going to have a big decision to make. I'm going to have a grand total of eight purple parallels along with the other cards that I like that I pulled out of here. So I was literally expecting this to be in last place. I think I said that I was expecting this to come in last place, and that's not going to be the case whatsoever. Here's our final pack from 2019. The rookie card class from 2019 Heritage is not the greatest, but how about that? Jose Ramirez, a very, very nice box. We get a hot box, a hot blaster box. I'm going to take a minute and check for short prints right now. And we've got three more to add. These are all short prints. Xander Bogarts, Eric Thames, and Brandon Nimmo. Cards numbered in the 401 to 500 range are short prints. So I've got a whole stack. Like uh, usually my maybe pile, sometimes I struggle to even get five cards to even choose from. And I'll have to go back. All right. So Bogarts is definitely going to be somewhere in the top five. Um, I'm going to have some purple parallels in there for sure. Um I don't know if Kopech's going to make it, believe it or not. The Juan Soto for me is number one. It's his second year card. It's his gold cup card, and it's an insert. It's a cloth. I don't even have any of those in my collection, so I'm super pumped about those. I'm going to go with probably 
Ben Attendee number two. I really like that card. This what, third third year card. His rookie is 2017. There's Xander Bogarts. And I'm probably just going to choose Purple Parallels out of the last. We'll go with, uh, we got to go with the biggest stars, the biggest names. I'm going to go with Chris Sale, who's injured. But, wow, three Red Sox taking up my list there. And uh, I'm leaning towards one of these two, Trevor Bauer or Jose Ramirez or Blake Snell. Or Sean Manai. I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with Trevor Bauer because I like Trevor Bauer a lot. I like how he's outspoken and uh, you know just kind of like a crazy guy in a good way. So that's my top five. You can pretty much go ahead and call it for 2019 Heritage right now. But we still have this box, the brand new 2020 Heritage. We got to give this a try. It's my first time ever opening a blaster of 2020 Heritage. So let's see what this is all about. We'll be opening another box of these tomorrow on the channel when we do our retail review and buy a 2020 Heritage everything, a retail pack, a fat pack, a blaster box, and a hanger box. Open them all up and see what you can expect out of 2020 Heritage retail edition. So there's our eight packs. And um, let's get this started up here. Maybe we'll get another hot box or Nope, we will not. So you can see it's 1971 design. Uh, Nolan Arenado insert card, little mini card there. There's the back of it. And that's going to go in the maybe pile for me. Sometimes there's some extra value to those. And Yadier Molina, card number 400. Not a short print, though. We will be looking out for short prints here. I'll probably just stop the video and go through and double check. I like that Soto, so that's going to my maybe pile. Aussie Albies, Ronald Guzman, 71. Definitely a rough year if you are a vintage collector just because the cards were so tough to find in mint condition because of the delicate black borders. Definitely show a lot of wear. For a second, Joe Musgrove. We've got a parallel black coming up here. I believe those are out of 9.99, and it is Trey Mancini. Yep, out of 9.99. You can see it's card number 222 of 9.99. There's Josh James, Kevin Kiermaier, Delano DeShields Jr., who's now on the Indians, and David Bodie, we got about five packs left on this face off Friday. Hopefully, everyone has some nice plans for this weekend. Hope you guys have a nice, relaxing weekend. Have fun, whatever you're doing. There's Jacob DeGrom, Jeff McNeil. I like that one. That is a short print. I don't remember seeing that one in our large scale break, so I kind of recognize that was a short print. We just opened two cases of this, 24 boxes. So, this set's fresh in my memory. We've got Luis Arise on the back, his second year card. His rookie is. 2019 update, Jack Flaherty, Matt Carpenter, Brian Reynolds' gold cup card. I like that because I'm a Pirates fan, even though he's um, it's not his rookie card. There's the Luis Arise. I also like that one. I think he's going to be a good one. So I'm putting that one in my maybe pile just in case I'm struggling. Obviously, that card's not worth a ton of money since it's not a rookie card or anything like that. Hunter Harvey and Dylan Tate, Jerickson Profar, Trevor Story, Logan Allen, Steven Matz, Kurt Suzuki. I would really like to get a Bo Bichette, or I would really, really like to get an Aristides Aquino and Jordan Alvarez rookie card. We'll see if we can find those. Max Muncy, Andrew Bennett, Tenny Tucker, Barnhart. So down to our last pack here on Face Off Friday. Then I'll double check the backs and see if there's any other short prints that I missed. Short prints fall one in every three packs throughout these three releases of Heritage. So that's why you're seeing two to three per box on average and mike ford is the last card there so let me check out for short prints and then we'll call the winner in a second we've got two additional short prints to add carlos martinez and andrew benatendi cards 450 and 419 now these there's also action parallels that will say the word action on there you'll know that if you watch my break we pulled a, quite a few of those out those have a little extra added added value so i'm gonna go with these were my maybes number one you know, if you can't really figure out who your number one card is, it's kind of tough. I'm going to go with Jeff McNeil as my number one card. It's a short print, and I really like Jeff McNeil a lot. Number two, I'm going to go with the Mancini since it is a parallel card. Oh, I don't even know where I'm going after this. I guess we'll have to put Benatendi three, short print Benatendi, short print Carlos Martinez four. Not really sure what the value is on the Nolan Arenado mini. Um, I'm not sure how prevalent these are in retail. I don't think we saw any of this particular release 
um, or this particular set in the hobby boxes that I pulled. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at number five with apologies to Hunter Harvey, Dylan Tate, Louisa Rice, Brian Reynolds, Strasburg, and Juan Soto. Um, so for me, far and away, and I think everyone's going to agree, um, agree that the 2019 wins hands down. 2018 had a great box too. They're number two. 2020 tops update, or not tops update, tops heritage. Um, a little bit left to be desired out of that box, but still at least we got three short prints and it was fun to go through and uh, have to start piling up those cards and maybe put together a set of that one day. I'll probably only do one to 400 because I'm not going to be able to track down all the uh, short prints as those are much harder to find. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you agree with me with deeming 2019 Heritage the winner on this episode of Face Off Friday. We do these uh, episodes usually every Friday. So if you like this series, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button for all types of different kinds of baseball card content and baseball content in general. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you all tomorrow for the 2020 Tops Heritage Retail Review. Good night, everybody.